a mother's campaign for justice. This is a good six years of trying to get the message out, the story out. Bit by bit by bit. Until in 2012, Matthew Leahy was admitted to a mental health unit in crisis and found hanged a week later. An internal investigation by the Linden Centre in Chelmsford found his care had been good, but Melanie knew she didn't have the truth. They just wanted to close doors, um, humour me. Let's, let's tell her this much, tell her that much, she'll go away. Um, I couldn't. Today, she finally has some answers. A damning report by the health ombudsman details a series of significant failings in the care and treatment of Matthew and Mr R, another young man who died at the unit. Matthew didn't have an allocated key worker or an up-to-date care plan. In fact, staff falsified it after his death. Matthew reported being raped while in the unit, but staff dismissed the allegation as delusional and didn't complete an incident form. He told nurses he was suicidal, but they made no plan to manage the risk and left him in a room with a ligature point. The report also found he wasn't properly observed by staff or given a full physical assessment and paperwork was lost. Any one of these would raise concern for any mother with a son in a unit like this, but there are 12 points they've made. How does that make you feel? Speechless with pain. This clearly proves Matthew had the most atrocious, um, horrendous care that anyone could have had. You'd you treat a dog better. Last year, Essex Police investigated 25 deaths in mental health units run by the North Essex Partnership Trust, but decided not to prosecute. While today's report only looked into the cases of Matthew and Mr R, it did conclude there was a systemic failure to tackle repeated and critical failings. The Ombudsman has called for a national NHS review and it could go further. There's a whole range of systemic issues that do need looking at. But if NHS improvement have the slightest concern about these issues, then I think they would be right to call for a public inquiry. The trust which ran this unit where Matthew and Mr R died has now been taken over and today pledged to support the review. Any death is a, is a tragedy and the impact it has on the family we fully understand. As a new organisation, we've brought in and made a number of changes to improve patient safety and to raise the quality of care. But Melanie has heard promises before. She believes only a public inquiry will hold people to account. She is Matthew's voice now, and so for him, the campaign goes on.